What's going on, guys? This is Kedron with 924 Photography, and we are in Las Colinas. It is cold. It's like 29 degrees, but I guess I can't really complain too much because I guess my, my friend Manny Ortiz, he's up there and probably in negative uh, five degree weather shooting in snow and stuff. So I guess I should suck it up, huh? Suck it up, buttercup. We're down here in the Mandalay Bay area. So it's almost like a river walk. Well, it is a river walk, but in Dallas, Las Colinas area. So we decided to come out today on this Friday morning and shoot and get more content for you. So I want you to sit back, relax, enjoy some of the B-roll. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you hit that bell for more uh, notifications. See you soon. Down the elevator. You cool with video? Yeah, I'm cool with video. All right, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the pluses to having a truck and this should be in every photographer's uh bag I do. <laughs> oh <Lord. laughs> no I'm just <laughs> this is the light reach pro so what modifier you think we should use a lot of people have asked me before Peter, how do you pick the modifier Hell, I don't know, whichever way suits the whole scene. <laughs> So right here we have the Sony A7R Mark III with the Sigma 135 Art with the Cheetah Stand QSB 34 double diffused. She's right here now trying to pose, trying to stay warm. <laughs> so what we doing here is we have the light slightly feathered. It looks like it's directly on her but it is actually feathered to the left just a bit. And here's the shot. ISO 64, 1 500 of a second, F1.8. With the Godox 8600 Pro in the Cheetah Stand QSB 34. The same setup camera as before, and we're still using an 8600 with the QSB 34. We had her to take her jacket off to knock out a few more poses in this location. This is Sam with the light reach pole, and the shots came out beautifully. Here they are. ISO 64, 1 500 of a second, F1.8. So Sam decided to get in on the action with her Canon 6D Mark II. In just a second, I'm going to be moving the light around for different positions just to change the lighting up. You can also try this. This will give you a variety when you get ready to get in a post to see what lighting actually works for you. Just try it out. And here are her shots. areas that are really busy you need to be very respectful of people coming by just let them pass and then continue on with your photography that'll make them less pissed off at you now we are still using a cheetah stand qsb 34 with the 8600 pro it is double diffused with a deflector plate and slightly feathered to the right we decided to add this bag in for a little spice i'm using an a7r mark 3 with the sigma 135 and here are the shots iso 64 1 500 of a second f1.8 with the Godox 8600 Pro in the Cheetah Stand QSB 34. Wow. How are you feeling so far? I'm feeling cold, but very motivated because the pictures are about to be fire. 
So we're using a QSB 34 again, double the fuse. In just a second, I'm gonna ask Sam to move over to my right hand side. Thank you, Sam. Because she's facing the light now and it is still slightly feathered to the left. I also decided to get a little bit closer to my subject so I can feel the frame up because I wanted the upper body. And man, let me tell you, the shot is awesome. Here it is. ISO 64, 1 500 of a second, F1.8. ISO 64, 1640 of a second, F1.8. And I'm gonna have to tell you, it is cold as hell out here. Like I said, I shouldn't be as complaining as much as the model she had her toes out and I know they're freezing. So they headed back to the truck right now so they can get warm and I stayed out here with all the gear. Uh, my thoughts on the 8600 80, 80, Pro, it's a great light. I love using this light over the 8200 only because if I need enough power, I have it. I don't have to keep swapping out. Uh, it is heavy for my assistance at times, but uh, we get through it. We have the lighting camera left and it's slightly feathered towards the camera double diffused we're gonna have her to knock out a few more poses and i'm gonna tell you these were absolutely my favorite images from the whole session my god sosie you did great iso 80 1 3 20th of a second f 1.8 for the godox 8600 pro this one is iso 80 and 1 3 20th of a second at f 1.8 as well Cause you got those damn boots on. Yeah, <laughs> oh man, Ooh, boy. So the equipment we use to record this whole video, I'm shooting with the Sony A7 III uh, paired with the Sigma 35 millimeter 1.4 with a variable ND filter on it. Sam. Listen, this message is for you. Thank you so much for being my friend. Thank you so much for being, uh, I don't even consider you as assistant, I consider you as an equal partner. Thank you so very much. Uh, I really appreciate it. You are the type of person that everybody needs to have in their life, uh, a dependable person. And again, I wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Well, how about y'all go to her Instagram? She's a very good photographer. She's been learning under me for a very long time. You can find her on Instagram at www instagram.com slash s-a-m-s-e-r-r-a-t-o hey hold on can you hear me hey stay tuned at the end her instagram will be at the end of this video so you can pause it do whatever you need to do and follow both of them because they are dope what you can follow us on instagram you got to be kidding me at sam serato with sam serato photography so see babe because she's one dope model and Keith and Franklin with 924 Photography. Please consider subscribing and hit that bell for more notifications so you don't miss another one of my videos.